who should have less playing time or no playing time the next two weeks? No playing time? I, I, whatever. I don't know. Well, it says less on the screen. Okay. So less playing time. I would relate that with George Kittle. Um, if you want to hold that standard to where if he's 100% healthy and he's cleared and he's good to go, he's in a suit up because how can I tell all these other guys to be on the field? And yet we're not going to let George Kittle out there and protect his body. Yet we're going to let Fred Warner bang, who's an all uh, pro linebacker this year. Well, should be. So I would say he should have less playing time as far as like, if you want to play him, fine. 10 snaps. Like there's no reason to get him into 30, 25, 10 snaps. Get him on the field. Give him two targets. Cool. Don't give him full workload. Less playing time. I think the, at least in the comments, McGlinchey will be the guy, but uh, I think a winner is Jordan Reed for less playing time just because I think, not because anything he's done wrong. I think he's been very good this year. Uh, but I think he just, you need to find out what you got more with those true. younger guys. If Werner is able to come off that COVID list before the end of the season, I'd like to see what you got, what you have in him because we know what Jordan Reed can do in this offense. We know what his salary is really going to be for the rest of his career because of the injury concerns. So try out the other tight ends, play him more, and and just see, because I think Reed will only play if he's playing for Shanahan anyways. Why not try out Warner and see if that draft pick was worth it? Uh, I, if it was up to me, I'm sitting Sherman. There's no reason for him to be on the field. Uh, he, there's At this point, especially if he's already said he's not coming back, and you know, just take him at his word and let's just move on at this point because we're not going. They're not going to the playoffs anyway. So you know, let's let's start taking a look at at like like we've already mentioned the Witherspoons and those kind of guys, and, and just and go that route. Uh, let him rest and go make his money elsewhere next year. The way I view these final two games, it's September for an MLB baseball team that's not in playoff contention. You. Take a good look at all the guys that you don't really know what you have in. And the guys that are established, the Eric Armstead, for example, who, yes, you can question his production this season, but he has a role on this team moving forward. So that's a guy that can take a step back. He doesn't need to log 80% of the snaps over the course of the last two games. That's what he's averaged. 83% he played against the Washington football team and the Cowboys. You can decrease that number to 60%, 50%, get those snaps to Jordan Willis and Deion Jordan. So that's what I would do if I'm the 49ers over the course of the last two games. Your veterans, guys that have established roles on this team, decrease their playing time. And the unknowns, the Austin Walters of the world, the Jordan Willis is of the world. Give them more of a role. Yeah. Um, you guys got all the good ones. I'm going to say Mike McMuffin. He, we've seen enough Make of Mike squishy. McMuffin. Uh, it's not going to get any better for him. He needs to add 30 pounds and get stronger. Every week is going to be the same. We know. We know what Mike McGlinchey looks like. McMuffin, excuse me. And uh, we, we know that it's not going to be good this year and what he needs to do next year. I'd like to see if there's anyone on the team who can play better than him. Because I don't think you could play much worse than what he's doing at right tackle. And I know he has good, like, run blocking grades or whatever. But from what I watch, uh, he's, like, falling down, like, every game. There's, like, four or five plays where he's getting thrown around. It's like, are you okay, Mike? Do you want to talk about mm -hmm. it? Uh, so I would say just uh, say his, his back hurts or his toe hurts. Give him two weeks off. He played 14 games. Thanks for everything, Mike. And then give Brunskill a shot at right tackle or give School a, right, a shot at right tackle because – those guys have had experience at, at, at tackle, and I it, it is I can't believe that they would be worse than Mike Mike McFloppy Mike Mike McMuffin. And if they are, then that's good to know. You should know that. You should at least know that. So I feel I I think Mc, McGlinchey is going to be a player that's stuck at right tackle. That's what M McMuffin. I see McMuffin or McSquishy, whatever you Mc Mc, Mc, Mc tight McFloppy, end. all the at, put him at tight end. He's just going to be a player that's stuck at right tackle because of the roster politics behind it all. Are you really going to – how are you going to upgrade? How Unless you have someone like you touched on with the Dan Brunskill, who's going to play right tackle? Justin School, he had he looked okay last year, but he got blown up against Darius Smith and Preston Smith against the Green Bay Packers, which are two very good pass rushers. It's they just made him look like Mike McGlinchey. Yeah, they did. They did. They really did. But where do you – find the upgrade you're not going to invest in the offensive line in the draft early on there's too many concerns elsewhere mcglinchy much might just be the pill you have to swallow and accept and because you don't really have the leeway to 
You don't have the draft capital to sign anybody. That's for sure better. It's just trial and error at this point with the guys that you currently have on the roster. Maybe they could trade him to the Raiders straight up for Trent Brown. Wow, wouldn't that be fun? But you, you guys know where I stand with Mike McGlinchey. I'm. But, he's a, he's, you know, he, his effect on the locker room is is so great that it kind of offsets any weaknesses he has on the field. Yeah. He's, a, he's a locker but room again, guy. I've never seen a captain get beaten down time and time again to the extent that he gets beaten down and embarrassed. You saw the clip that I post where it was Randy Gates. He grabbed them by the jersey, just swung them around. Like, oh, it was unbelievable. Yeah, that, that, that was guy. good. And then yesterday, Jack and I were doing our, our weekly uh, film breakdown, and I didn't even see it, but we were somewhere in the second half, and we were watching a play, and I just noticed, like, Mike McGlinchey get thrown from, like, into another zip code. Remember that, Jack? We, we didn't even know it. We were like, oh, my, look at Mike. Yeah. It's almost like, where's Waldo? If you look hard enough, you can and, see it every play. I think it was and, on the pass interference call. or, or I, remember, I don't remember exactly what point it was in the game, but, yeah, there was definitely a throw by Mullins in which – which McGlinchey goes flying into his legs. Yes, it was the pass interference call. It was the deep throw to Ayuk. Ooh, I got to put that one on Twitter. But I've been trying yeah. to be—I've been trying to be nicer to Mike McBuffin because he did, why would you ridicule uh, such a nice person? It's enough, enough. He doesn't respond to it like the other guys. I know he does. The, it doesn't work. The final he's, thing I'll say about McGlinchey is he's just so tolerable of the way that he's treated on the football field. It's. It seems like he lacks pride, the ability to be like, I'm not going to be embarrassed anymore. You need to have that mentality in the game Fight of football. He, like, he, he accepts it. He's okay. like, okay, I'm just going to make you look like uh, – you're. it's okay if you make me look like the most soft right tackle in the National Football League. It's okay. I'm not angry about it. Just go ahead and keep doing it. I don't, that's the one, it's, a matter, it's a matter of pride. It's a matter of pride, and he I, doesn't get angry over it. Well, he, okay. got, he got angry that one time when uh, when uh, ninety four was kind of dragged on him after the play, and 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 him and school got got angry with him, and they got flagged for a unfortunate conduct. Then that's true. Uh, it's yeah, that's I true. couldn't tell who it was that got actually. I Me mean, neither. 